Welcome sunshine. Good news for those still coping with the aftermath of all that record rainfall. Pasco County is now shifting its flood response to one of the long term recovery and supporting residents with cleanup. And now a congressman is stepping in also hoping to help. ABC Action News reporter Kara Mashik is live in Pasco County with the frustrations some are still dealing with. Kara. Well, certainly the great news, of course, dry much of the day. We did just start to get a little bit of a drizzle in the last half hour or so. But Congressman David Jolly stepping up to the plate in all of this, writing this personal letter that he shared with us today to the federal government, begging them to consider all of this recent rain over the past three weeks to be one flooding event rather than several small incidents. That could actually help in the long term in getting federal aid. As many here say it is a promising development, but they are still looking down the road and hoping more permanent solutions come to the table. It's a soggy mess inside Sean Green's Pork Ritchie home. Every piece of flooring, furniture, all the appliances, and much of the drywall ruined. She's going to be stuck paying to replace personal belongings out of pocket because flood loss is not covered under her renter's insurance. We're just kind of throwing stuff in garbage bags, trying to save what we can save and doing the best that we can. But Green and many of her neighbors are frustrated that their community flooded in the first place. They've seen water almost this bad before and say they've asked the county to repair the drainage system that pumps water through this lake. We really shouldn't be where we are today if they would have just listened to our phone calls. A few pumps are now running in the area. This green one just put in place after heavy rains last week, but the blue one has been here a year and a half. I mean, I'm getting fed up with this, being here, the noise. You can't have anyone over. I mean, it's getting to a point where you're going to have to set about it. Barry Haynes has the pump line running right through his yard. He says the county asked to put it there to alleviate problems from a crushed storm line in the area. This recent record rainfall and flooding have only gone to show just how badly that line needs fixed. So this pump can be pulled off his property. Getting the drainage system up to par would also help his neighbors during future heavy rain. I mean, I hope that extra the funds will come in, we'll get things like this done so the residents don't have the problems that we're getting. Now, meanwhile, several community support stations, those are being assisted with the Red Cross and Salvation Army, will be offered yet again tomorrow in neighborhoods like this one here in Jasmine Lakes and several other areas across Pasco County offering food, water, and cleanup supplies if you need them. You can certainly get them there. Meanwhile, Pasco County officials also telling me they are continuing to keep a running tally that actually started back on the 21st of July for all of this flooding, those numbers being submitted to the state and federal government for potential aid down the road. For now, reporting live in Pasco County, Karamashik, ABC Action News. Kara, thank you.